Galatians 6, 7. Do not be deceived. God will not be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. Sons of Anarchy, Season 6, Episode 8. Now, some of y'all may be wondering, what's this cat quoting a Bible verse for? Well, it actually fits quite properly, quite fittingly, with the two main themes of this week's episode of SOA. And what are those themes? Number one, repercussions. And number two, regrets. We saw a lot of that. I mean, we see that quite a bit, especially the repercussion aspect of SOA. But this episode probably more than any, at least any in a long time. You know, it nailed home that fact. So, you know, this episode I will say, I mean this episode review, my bad. This episode review should be quite quick because, let's just put it this way. Not too much action happened, which doesn't mean it was a bad thing. I mean, so this was definitely a classic episode, you know, a classic type episode of SOA. But uh, it was mainly, I mean, the episode was mainly focused on three things. Number one, a lot of character development. Number two, quite a bit of characterization. Number three, a bit of plot progression. Starting with the beginning, of, starting at the beginning of the episode, we see the, you know, y'all remember what happened last week, right? Gemma gets arrested because of the whole incident with, uh, with Tara. And Gemma is asked by Lieutenant Eli Roosevelt. I gotta say, Roosevelt has been getting increasingly mad, increasing respect for me from this season. Because Roosevelt, like, he, see, he even told the uh, DA, um, dang, I forget her name. But anyway, Patterson, I think it was, the, you know, the, the black woman. Anyway, he, you know, he told us he was about simple justice, you know. Did they do it? Did they not do it? The right and wrong, you know. Justice, real justice, not this foolishness, not this legal BS, but justice. Anyways, so Gemma breaks down the actual story. He believes her, but he, he doesn't understand a couple pieces, but... You know, he eventually let it go. Then we see, I mean, Anser. I gotta say, two characters. Anser and Bob. But namely, Anser. I knew it was coming. I knew Anser would be huge later on. I mean, it's not, not the biggest of plays. Not like he was when uh, in the first few seasons. But yo, Anser, man. Anser with them words. With them words to Lieutenant Roosevelt. And then words to freaking Tara. And I think the words the dog on Gemma too. Answer, answer. I think to me was the start of this episode. I mean, Bobby with the words, the words he told the terror about Jax, man. How Jax needs somebody at his side. You know, come on, man. You can't. And he's telling her about the fate of the club. He fears for the club. He's been fearing for the club, but he actually has legitimate reason to be afraid of what may happen. You know, this is a crucial period for the club. I mean, the words with Jax at the end, though, to Tara? <sighs> Come on, y'all telling me y'all y'all wasn't thinking about the re like, like the seriousness of what Jax was saying, man. Jax, you know, Jax trying to get back with Tara. That that whole dynamic of a relationship. See, he been known. I mean, throughout this whole episode, the atmosphere. Did y'all feel that atmosphere? It's like it's a it's a weighty, heavy atmosphere. It's not as serious as sometimes. It's serious. Don't get me wrong. Quite typical SOA, right? But I mean, it was just a heavy atmosphere. Gemma questioning some things. Nero, once again, man. Nero, besides Jax, Nero may be my favorite character of this season, at least of up until this point. OG man, showing the wisdom and knowledge, man. Y'all see what this man did? That's what you look, man. This man, not not only did he take the sense, the way he talks to the DA, he ain't stupid. So I, I love that aspect. Um, then another aspect we see uh, with the with the with the Bizlats and 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 the Sons. Now that that shows the difference between a young crew and an experienced crew. Y'all saw when the dude got run over, right? By by the dude, the the father of the the OG father of the kid who got shot in the uh, school shooting. They were all freaking out, and even when they were trying to break in, Jax, Chibs, Tig, even Juice. Juice, y'all see how Juice didn't even care? Juice didn't even care if he would have got hit or not. Y'all saw their reaction. Cool. Just calm, cool, collected. I like that. I really like that. 
you know I saw I saw Chibs take control as a VP I really like that aspect um let's see what else what else what else there was a there was some good stuff really good stuff um Wendy we see I mean Wendy I kind of actually one of the first times really really actually feel for Wendy you know she she's in such a bond that it's ridiculous it, it honestly is ridiculous and it's kind of sad it, it, it's kind of sad it really is um Jax you know I just don't want Jax to get played Jim are trying to did y'all see he ain't here he look people if you try to feel sorry for Jim I, I can understand the, the temptation to feel look how much she's done Jax has given her chance after chance and dog I'm sorry, you can't really feel for Jimmy. You can't really do it. You can't really do it. Tara, yo, uh, no, Tara, Tara is all over the place to see. I mean, seriously, like, yo, where is she, where is she going to head? You know, we still have a good four or five episodes left in the season. So, it's going to be interesting to see where this goes. Um, Any other aspects? Because, cause like I said, uh, let's see. You know, that whole serious situation with the OG, the way he did Freaking, I hope that DA learns a lesson. So, we saw Broski, man. We saw, you know, him. Some good stuff from him. Let's see. Am I missing anything? Let me retract real quick and then call us a review. Am I missing anything? Got the, oh, yeah. A couple of things I would like to I would like to mention. Number one. Did y'all catch the name? It's the Biz Lights. I thought it was the Viz Lights with a V, not a B, in, in the way they spelled it. So I thought, you know, for me personally, that was a good catch. Um, DA caught her name. Uh, Margaret. Mar I always forgot the, the redheaded doctor, you know, that's with Tara. Yeah, the uh, administrator. Yeah, her. It's, it's Margaret something or another. Gemma said that. So, that, so that's good for me. That Y'all, because y'all, if y'all watch my last episode review, y'all should know that I, I forgot her name. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, it was, this wasn't a bad episode. It just, it was a, it was dialogue oriented, okay? And a lot of good points. I say it was an 8 out of 10. It was a great episode of, uh, Sons of Anarchy. You know, I'm not knocking it. It just, compared to a lot of the other, se uh, episodes this season, it just, you know, it, there's no real comparison. It, there's none. Especially y'all saw how I reacted last week. I mean, jeez. You know, I'm not going to apologize for the emotions I felt from that episode. You know, it just, it was that deep. This just, you know, it was good. Like I said, it was a great episode of SOA. And um, like I said, I'm loving the season. This is definitely the best season so far. Definitely. Definitely. I don't want this, this show to end anytime soon. I don't think it's going to end anytime soon. It's got at least a couple more seasons. At least. It could go 10 seasons. It could, it could go about 10 seasons. All right, y'all. The unexpected one to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me y'all thoughts. Um, Yeah, man. Tell me y'all thoughts. How y'all liking the season? How y'all liking the introduction of, of Quinn? I'm liking Quinn. He's, you know, even though he ain't really been involved, he looks cool. He looks outlaw, definitely. And some of them other guys look look cool, look outlaw. Bobby doing his thing. Roosevelt doing his thing. Ansa definitely doing his thing once again, which I, lo I love when Ansa's doing his thing. Everybody else doing their thing. All right, y'all. Have a beautiful day, beautiful night. Peace.